All right, so I got us turned around this way so you can see what's going on at the stove here. Uh, so again, with our pad thai, um, the first thing you need to do is heat up some oil in our wok. Our wok is new. It has a green ceramic coating in it, easy to clean, non-stick. I find that oil is not even really needed, so I'm going to just leave it out um, for my own my own liking. Um, and so it says we add some sliced chicken. You know what, today I'm going to use shrimp instead. So I have some shrimp already here. Uh, it was frozen. I thawed it out. I'm just going to heat it up in there. You can hear that sizzle. And then because it's already cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and put our vegetables in there already. So nice thing with our wok, it comes with a nice clear lid, um, non-stick, and it's also oven safe. So you can go from your stove right to your oven. I'm sorry if the lighting's bad because it's a bright sunny day here in Edmonton. Um, all right, so I'm stir frying this up. You know, maybe not your traditional pad thai vegetables here, but um, you know, I use what I have at home and uh, change it up all the time. So you can see in there how beautiful this wok is. There's a lots of vegetables. I probably have about four cups of vegetables in here. Um, great for family sizes. Uh, I've even known people that will um, that will bake a cake in here. I've heard someone bake a cake in here. So the next thing we do after we have those veggies stir fried to your liking, I like everything al dente, is I like to add the egg to it. So in our prep bowl I have the egg done. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit here. I throw that right in. Oh, you can see that purple cabbage is turning everything a little bit purple. My girls love that. All right, so frying up my egg in there. You can kind of see I'll leave it to the side here until it gets a little bit cooked. Like that. And then I start stirring it all in. So at this point, my noodles are probably done, but I just let them hang out there for a bit. Oh yeah, we're having a purple pad thai tonight, love it. So I mix that up, and then the next thing we do, really, really easy, is I grab, I grab our sauce, give it one quick shake, and I'm gonna just throw it in there. Smells so good, so easy too. So I'm frying that up, until it's heated all the way through. If I look at the back of my package here, um, it'll just exactly say tossing it till it's heated through. So I love our little grip and grabs for um, grip and grabs for making my stir fries. So so easy. So there you have it. We have our pad thai, and of course we like to garnish things a little bit. Um, you want to make it look like the restaurant. Uh, I don't have bean sprouts today, but I would normally um, top with some bean sprouts as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drain the water off of this. Awesome, super easy. I'm going to take some of my noodles and I'm going to place them. I'm just gonna tip you down a little bit. Get rid of my egg bowl. And so this is how I would make my pad thai. If you want to, you could add your rice noodles right into your wok. Um, I like to just keep it separate and then if I have my leftovers, uh, that's how I would do it, but totally up to you. So I'm going to put a couple noodles in the bottom of mine. Then I'm going to top with my stir fry pad thai vegetables with my shrimp in there. Normally I would put some bean sprouts right on top, um, but then I'm going to take a lime. So uh, lime is something that... Can you still see me? Uh, lime is something that they love in Thai food. And so I'm going to use our little citrus press, two-in-one citrus press, the big parts for the lemon, and then we have our smaller part for the lime. Super, super easy. I cut my lime with my ceramic knife, and then it's going to go face down. And the whole idea is that it makes it go inside out. So a little bit of fresh lime on top. Delicious. And if you don't have peanut allergies, then that's when I like to add a little bit of uh, chopped up peanuts right on top. I like mine spicy, so I'm going to throw a little bit of that sriracha sauce on. And voila, I have my pad thai really, really fast and easy, healthy, and delicious. So, uh, yeah, comment below if you saw something you liked.
I love to also add my Asian umami nutritional yeast sprinkles on top, really high in vitamin B12. So if you do one tablespoon of this, 90% of your daily requirement of vitamin B12 in here. So maybe a good way to get rid of some supplements and use this instead. Delicious topper. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.